Hi, I'm Barb. Welcome to another installment of my craft studio organization. Today I'm going to show you my craft desk. I'm just showing you like this because I'm going to move the carts and stuff out from underneath you so I can show you better what's under there. But this is kind of a shot from as far back as I can get of my desk. I'll be right back. show you kind of underneath my desk first. This unit here is an Alex drawer unit from Ikea. The top drawer has my pipe cleaners in it. They're kind of cut in, they're cut in half. I use those when I make wreaths. This one I call flower making. It's got wooden sticks, um, stamens, different things I use when I make paper flowers. And it's catching. I think it's this one. No, it's still catching on something. It's still catching on. I don't know what it's catching on. There. This one has my diamond dot stuff mainly in it. There's a couple other things, but it's mainly diamond dots. And then this bottom was a file drawer. It's kind of um, planner type stuff there. Underneath the desk, I have my project planners. So I've got a medical one, one of my craft studio, one for my son's wedding. Those ones there are actually like going to be final wishes. Um, sounds morbid, but like funeral planning, photos for display boards and stuff. Um, I'm trying. I need to get going on that task. That's my current scrapbook album, and that's my current my um. Memento Keeper. This is the old style Memento Keeper, the black ones that Tiffany used to have. That one's kind of my current scrapbooking. And then these ones are her new style. Up here I have a couple of Karen bags. One I think has COVID related stuff so I won't have it much longer filled. And then the other one has like journaling blocks which I have started going through those and organizing them by color so that when I'm scrapbooking I can just pull that out have it on my desk and pull out whatever color I need. Those are the Totally Tiffany Bits and Bobs drawers. They have threads that I bought for my, that I bought, that I'm planning on using with the Little Miss sewing machine that I bought to use for paper crafting. There's some crochet thread there. A lot of these ones are empty. And then in this corner of the calyx, I have some lesser used stuff. I think that one's cross stitch and then underneath there's some paints. This one has um, different sewing stuff like my sewing machine feet are there, um, bobbin holders, back sock of thread. This is kind of all sewing. This is my purge box. On this side over here I have some of my larger Tiffany. I have my slide stash in stores. I don't really have that many of those. There's a big eight, 18, 12 by 18 fab file there, and that's a 12 by 12 paper taker. It wouldn't fit in my other spot. Um, these two things, one has buddy bags in it, that, that one, <laughs> and this one has like other Totally Tiffany products, fab files, and there's some other assorted things in there too. Down here, I've got back stock. It's mainly different adhesives, like that one's got low tack tape and pickup pick up pencils, glue dots, liquid glue and Tombow Multi, um, double-sided tape, foam tape, floral tape, 
Aileen's and Art Glitter Glue. And then those are paper and refills. Those are my Cricut cartridges. The, um, not the cartridges themselves, but the booklets. I like to keep those because sometimes they come in handy if you're cutting an image and trying to assemble it. And then that's got like blade refills. My Tim Holtz um, glass mats there. And the, that's a totally Tiffany magnetic design board. I like them there because they stay flat then. And this side has uh, the Lisa Buddy bag. She wouldn't fit in there. And I think it used to have Dollar Tree chopping mats, but I think I used all the ones I had. So that's what's on this side. Now, there are two Alex drawers here. One of them is kind of all office supplies. Um, it's going to be hard to get to that right now. Maybe I will, when I finish, I'll move that stuff and try showing you. We'll go up to the top, though. This side, this is kind of my card-making station. There's different card-making ideals here. There's one each, there's a folder for each month here. And I try to choose a card design for each month and try to, like this month, I'll try to make June, cut my June cards. So, and then this, I file the cards by the birth date or anniversary date so that at the beginning of the week, I pull out the next week's cards to mail. There's also some stamps and address labels and there's some adhesive there too. It's kind of my, I call it kind of a card making station. Sometimes I, I like to keep a little one on top of the desk for when I'm doing like labeling and stuff. I can put the backs back there. It's kind of for garbage. It's my music. My Wonder Woman that um, one of the fellow GOC members sent to me because she watched my videos and knew I liked Wonder Woman. Um, these purple things, my father-in-law made them for me. <laughs> he made them slightly too big when he made them because I wanted them so that I could put both of them in one cube but they wouldn't fit together but it worked with them by the um deflecto x cubes so i just did it that way i separated them up originally i was using those for my pens but i switched because those those are the tim holtz um tins but i have my american crafts ink in them but i might end up moving those to one of totally tiffany's eight drawer units but and then, but the We Are Memory Keepers, um, Crepidiles and Corner Choppers fit well in there. So I, I took out every other shelf to use it for that. Up top here, these are, this is an old Totally Tiffany item. It's the Stash and Store Diet Platform Holder that holds, um, some of my cuddle bug plates. I don't use that as often. I could probably almost turn that one the other way. The one that's turned backwards has my Cricut cartridges in it but I couldn't get to it very well from this side so I opened on the other side I don't need them a lot this this I file my um homemade light, light box stuff in and some of my cataloging stuff is in there this has like empty tab um blank tabs the magnets I made for my GOC board dilution sprays other sprays these are mixed media items Oops, I knocked up whatever was on the other side. I just kind of keep my stapler and stuff there. Over here, yeah, I keep my brother's scan and touch. And there's some candy there because no craft room is complete without candy. My J Tim Holtz Distress Oxides are there. I store them in Irene bags by color families. And then up top is kind of... Com most of it's completed cards. Um... I have them by category. I kind of have the seasons up top. It starts out with Christmas, then Valentine's and Easter. There's a couple that aren't up there right now. And then the, that one there, I've got my, um, the first two items there, the turquoise barber bag and the Monica bag have health stuff in them. The bad vials got candy in it. And then there's more cards there. My um, guillotine cutter is kept up top along with my um, Stampin' Up! spinner. I have this um, pegboard that I got at Michael's, I think it was. 
I don't think they carry that anymore. I could be wrong, but I don't think they carry that anymore. But I hang my Cricut tools there. Then back here, there's a calyx back there, and on top I have this shoe shelf that I bought at um, Target, which was also what was underneath the desk that I had things on. And I have back behind here, I can reach most of these things fairly easy. Here I have my watercolor crayons and a couple of my inks, pads that I grab a lot, like my Versafine and my Memento are there. Underneath is my sparkle pens. I can't reach those real well, but I don't use them all the time, so it's good enough. Keep my tape up there and my, my um, dry erase markers. I've got my light boxes there. See, those are my custom inserts that I made for that. My little cricket cuties there. You turn sideways. Yeah, my little cricket cutie. And then I have my glitter glues, gesso, gesso, and I think alcohol inks are in that one. And then the next one has this one here has watercolor inks. This one has artist paint, Tim Holtz sprays, crayons, more crayons. I use all crayons. I think the top two boxes I use to make um, things for the kids. This one here has like paint, paint type daubers in it. Let's see, yeah. this one's got my Stamps of Life inks, and this one has my. I'm trying to think of what her name was. I probably covered it, so I can't read it. Right. Is she showing any of them? No. WV, Wendy Vecchi. That's what it is. I probably didn't pronounce her name right, but that's those inks I've hung on clearance at Target. This one here has my Tim Holtz mini inks in them. I number all my Tim Holtz products the same. So, like the pinks and reds all start with one, so it's one dash one. Whatever color that is, is the same number for any distress product. These are regular distress. These are just the mini distress inks. Those are my oxides. Um, this one has some of the markers. They all have the same number on them. So it, that worked best for me. This is alcohol markers. It's a lot of Culpits. There's some Spectrum Noir. And there is some Bic Markets. Just my understanding is those are alcohol based. And then my Big Bite and um, another We Are Memory Keepers Mold Up Punch. And on my, on my desktop here, I keep my, um, it's my little tabletop air conditioner, my little phone stand, my power strip. You can't see that, but it's a little artwork I made. I hang a calendar on the side here, but I'm going to stop and then clear that area out and show you what's over there. End of my desk here, as you can see. I have two Alex Drawer units there. I did it this way because when I rearranged... It was the only way I could figure out to keep both of them in here. I thought about just getting rid of one, but then it was like, what do I do with all the stuff that's in it? I guess if I had, it probably would have been the um, one with the office supplies and stored them elsewhere in the house. This one's got, I labeled it jewelry making. It's got different things in there. Um, this one's got different beads and charms. This one's got some... It's different stamping stuff. That, well, there's drawing stuff, my little birds, um, my little click, clickable alphabets. I did have those in a Dawn bag once, and I really liked them in there, but I needed the Dawn bag for something else, so I stole it. This is kind of just a hodgepodge drawer. It has a lot of my hardware and extra items. Sorry about that. I'm trying to sit down if I can and I really can't. There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry it was so shaky. And then this one has different painting stuff. There's paint brushes and whatever in there. This one has um, pens and markers. It's mainly, I think, Sharpie style. This one has my labeler stuff. My extras. I keep my ribbon ones here. I don't keep them in my Stephanie one like I showed before. Um, 
in my Stephanie video, or will, will show on my Stephanie video. I keep my ribbons here and then some of the extra, just like over here. And then my hole punches are here too, my three punch, three hole punch one. This one has different office supplies, staples and tape. There's more stuff underneath this. This one. Oh. It has a lot of binder flips in it and some other assorted office supplies. This one I believe has clothes pins, yeah. Clothes pins and paper clips by design or color. So that's kind of what I keep there. This stuff I didn't I don't use as much, so facing it the opposite way didn't bother me that much. Sorry about that. But that's a look at my work area. I just stuck my extra card over there, so ignore that. <laughs> But that's kind of my workspace where I do most of my crafting. But I hope you enjoyed seeing this area of my craft studio. That's pretty much it for each area. The only thing I might do if anyone's interested is maybe do a close-up look of different types of tools like how I store my stamps, my dies, my embossing folders, do just individual videos on that if anyone is interested in that. I figure it fits well into this theme. But anyways, I want to thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time.